Hi everyone, I am your teacher Tanya and I am here once again to tell you, Main Hoon Na. In today's video, we are going to learn 5 new words that are commonly mistaken. Let's have a look. By the way, this video is brought to you by Nguru Spoken English app. Nguru offers live classes every day, interactive sessions, expert Nguru teachers and a certificate from Nguru. So, to continue learning, download the Nguru app from the Play Store today. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. The first set of words are there, there or there. Let me make this simpler for you. The first word is there. There is an adverb that denotes a place. It is also used to introduce a subject especially with the verbs be, seem or appear. For example, there is an English learning app called Nguru. The second word is there. There is a possessive pronoun that denotes something belonging to someone. For example, they lost their luggage at the airport. The third word is there. For example, they are getting married on the 28th of March. Here there is a contraction of the words they and are and the sentence is in the present continuous tense denoting a planned future event. This is similar to other words like you are or we are which are again a contraction of you and are or we and are. Kaha tha na? Main sari confusion dur kar dungi. Now let's move on to the second set of words. It's or it's. It's is a contraction of the words it and is or was depending on the tense that you are speaking in. It's can also mean it has. Come, let's look at some examples. Example 1. It's going to rain today. Here we are talking about a likely future event and therefore it is a contraction of it and is. Example 2. It's late when I got back last night. Now here we are talking about an action in the past. Therefore it should be read as it was. Example 3. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Here the sentence is in the present perfect form and therefore it's read as it has. On the other hand, it's is a possessive determiner which refers to things, qualities or characteristics belonging to something or someone. For example, the company revised its policies. So I assume ke now all is well. So today we looked at two sets of words which are pronounced the same but have completely different meanings. Do you know what such words are called? Let us know in the comment section. अगर आपको हमारे वीडियोस अच्छे लगते हैं तो हमारे चैनल को लाइक शेयर और सब्सक्राइब करना ना भूलें और हां कमेंट सेक्शन पे अपने आंसर जरूर भेजें